fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> United States government made treaties with the Indians in the early days of the West. It did its best to be fair to the red men and reserve certain privileges for them which were denied to the white settlers. In the Oregon Territory, the Chinook Indians were given the right to fish the Columbia River, and the resentment this aroused among a class of renegade whites led to one of the masked rider of the plains' most exciting adventures. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading from the northwest! Hail, Silver! Away! The Lone Ranger and Tonto were following a trail that led to the Columbia River. Suddenly, as they popped their eyes, they saw a man sprawled on the ground ahead of them. This man, Tonto, that man's hurt. Uh, hurt plenty bad. Him, Indian. Come on. We'll see if there's anything we can do for him. He's one of the Chinooks, isn't he? Not right. Hey, give him some of this. Uh, Tonto, try to find out who hurt Chinook. Hone Kanfu. Gua Teno. Ah, Kala Neo. Pata Lono. Can you learn his name? Uh, him not tell name. Him say white man kill. White man? Did a white man do this? That's what him say. Uh, help. Help. That only white man word him know. <laughs> Raise him up. I'll try and pour more water down his throat. <laughs> Did you learn anything further from him, Kimosabe? No. Him say white man kill. We leave him here. Other Indian find dead Chinook. Then war start. We can't leave him here. Perhaps if we give him a simple burial where he'll not be found by other Indians, whatever war he was talking about will be averted. It good we move him, not good bury him. You don't think it best to bury him? No. Then where shall we take him? We take dead Indian to people. Where are his people? Uh, Tonto not know. We maybe follow trail. Very well, Tonto. You know best. We'll get him on silver and I'll hold him. You lead the way and follow the trail. Mm, that good. Uh, Tonto. Tonto, lift him. Yep. <coughs> now hand him here. I can't believe that white men did this. A stone hatchet or something like that was used. Not right. You... You got him? Yes. Lead the way, Tonto. I'll follow you. Uh -huh. Two men were concealed in the underbrush at the side of the trail. And as the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode away, one of them laughed. 
<laughs> you heard what they said, didn't you, Steve? Yeah, I heard, but I ain't chuckling about it. You sure they won't spoil things? I was afraid they might when they said they was going to plant the redskin. They'd have gone through with that scheme. I was ready to drill them and lug them away. But they ain't going to. They take them right to his own Chinook pals. I hope it knocks a celebration of the Chinook fishing season gaily wish. It should. Rails me to think that them redskins are having all the fishing that they want. While white folks has to do without. We can't get fishing without paying for it. Ain't justice. When Oita sees that redskin dead, <laughs> he'll figure his old enemy's done. Sure he will. <laughs> then instead of starting out with the opening of the salmon season, Oita'll think of war, not fishing. Then we'll have the streams to our own selves while the redskins are busy fighting. <laughs> <laughs> sure a whopping smart scheme. But once we get plenty of salmon, won't have it all took away from us by redskins. I figure if we handle things right, we can keep that war going till all the redskins get killed off by one another. <laughs> Why not? Now, come on back where we left the horses. We'll follow them, too, and make sure that they head for the village. I sure hanker to hear what old Chief O'Eat'll have to say. <laughs> Feasting, dancing, and singing always marked the opening of the salmon fishing season among the Chinook Indians. But this year, they had a better reason for celebrating. After a long war with their closest neighbors, the tribes were once more at peace. And Now we have many good seasons of peace, EO. No more will we make our war with other people. You are wise and great, O Eater. Your plan was good. We fish this side of stream. Other people fish other side. And Hogar was content with plan? Hogar say plan good. Hog or feel that gods of fishing make good catch for people who live good, punish other people. Hog or not like war. Now we have peace for a long time. I hope that is for always. Still, O oh, Eater, I have fear. Fear in heart of wife of leader? What if white men come to steal fish? White man never invade Indian fishing field. It is law of white man that protect us. We have nothing to fear from white man, Eo. <laughs> Oh, Ita, what has happened? The feasting stopped so sudden. Why? That's the chief, Tonto. Ah, and him. A white man come here. Also Indian, but from strange tribe. Oh, Ita, come, O Tane, let's go. Who comes? Oh, Ita, look, it is My a... son, he who would be leader when I die. What happened? Oh, Ita, you speak white man's tongue? Me speak him, say, this dead man... Your son. We lower him to the ground. The Lone Ranger and Tonto lowered the dead man to the ground. Sorrow and anger were written on the features of the Indians. But they remained silent until suddenly, with a great sob, Eo threw herself across the body of her son. A moment later, Oita knelt beside her. He touched the lifeless cheek with gentle fingers. Then, standing erect once more, but with only pride to help him in his grief, he spoke to the masked man. Who killed? We found that man dying on the trail, Oita. We brought him here. Who killed? We don't know. You? No, we didn't kill him. Old enemy rise to kill. This is way to hurt Oita. Hawk or kill? Oita, wait. Your son said white man killed him. Son, one people live in peace. Son, no peace terms made. But he's said... Hug or kill. Oh, Ita, no. Oh, Ita, you wait. Not start war. Maybe you wrong. Oh, Ita, not wrong. Treaty is ended. Hug or want war. Hug or defy. Kill son. We show. We show, Hug or. What's he going to do? He'll start war dance now. You watch. Throwing off his ceremonial band. Snatching a knife from the ground. Uh, him bury that knife when peace treaty made. Waving it over his head. Now he's grabbed one of the hammers. He's going to that war drum. Tunnel, this is it. I'm afraid we made a mistake. You, you bring son here. You start war, you. Quick, steady there. Me kill. Wait, you'll hurt someone with that knife. What kind of thing? Oh, wait, son. Oh, try, son. Let's take out 
try to hurt her. Tell them in their own tongue, Tuttle, that I was simply stopping her when she tried to knife us. Not time. We've got to get away. Come on, then, Tuttle. That's too angry to listen now. Get him up, Scout. Hey, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced toward the river, and when they reached its banks, headed upstream. It was not until the Chinooks had been left far behind that the masked man raised his arm and signaled to rein up. For a few minutes, Tonto, I thought one of their arrows would get us. Ah, uh, that plenty close. I wonder if now that they have an idea that we killed the leader's son, they'll forego their plans to attack that other tribe. Tonto, think not. They'll attack anyway? Ah. Uh. They do, it'll mean another uprising. It might go on for years before it's settled. Last time there was a war between the tribes, a lot of damage was done to white people's towns and villages. Indians on the warpath take what they need wherever they can find it. All right, plenty bad. The Chinooks have their own customs and habits and a different idea of living. I... Well, what you see? Over there. Oh, two feller carry something. That's it. On the side of the hill there. What are they lugging? Look at the bright colors. Look like totem pole. Totem pole? Ah. Uh, Indian here make totem pole. Them pray to totem pole. I know, but look at the way those men are moving. I never saw Indians walk like that. Them color not Indian. White men? Ah. Uh, but what are white men doing with a totem pole? Sometime white men steal totem pole. That make Indian plenty mad. Sometime other Indians steal it. Think that hurt good luck a tribe. Tell her, I want to know who those white men are. And why they have a Chinook totem pole. Okay. This totem pole must weigh a ton. Almost done in with love. Can't stop now, Steve. Just keep going. We'll soon be done with this here job. The river's just ahead. Yep. As soon as we get there, we'll throw her in. The current will carry it right across the Oita region. Yeah, it'll be swell if Oita don't notice it alongside the bay for a few days. It won't take a few days for Hoggard to miss it. Sure not. And when he finds her gone, he'll be plenty sore. He'll suspicion Oita right off the bat and go hunting it. That ought to work out just right. They'll each be fighting mad one another. Yeah, take a look and make sure we're leaving the trail that Hoggard won't have no trouble in following. We're leaving trail of plenty. Now, go your end into the water. <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand to help me push the rest of her in. Here, coming. Now. There. <laughs> yeah, the current's got a hold of it already. <laughs> now we'll clear out and see what happens. That totem pole is floating right across to where Oida has his camp. That's right. Come on. We'll have a closer look at it. In we go, silver old boy. That's it, Silver. Steady now. You want that totem pole? Yes, I'll toss a rope around it if I can. Careful. That long toss. It. There. Got it. Now we'll see what there is to it. Tonto, take a look. This Hoggar totem pole. Hoggar? That's right. Him follow Oita plan war on. And if this drifts to Oita, Hoggar will think it was stolen by him. Tonto, that Indian told the truth. It was white men who murdered him. White men want Indian war. That's it, exactly. Maybe we pull pull back, huh? No, Tonto. I'm going to loosen the rope and let it go with the current. It's start war. The death of that brave has already started the war. This will only add fuel to it and make Hoggo as eager to fight as Oita. Then we take pull back? No, I have a plan. Look up on top of that hill. Huh? Tonto, see? Come on back to land. Let the totem pole go. Steady, Skull. Steady, Come on, Silver. Steady. What about hill? That's Oita's totem pole, isn't it? Uh huh. All right. That's what my plan is based on. If it works, then not only will be no war, there'll be an everlasting peace between those two tribes. Well, what you do? Come on, get on dry land, and I'll tell you. Uh, Silver! Uh, now, Tonto. Look, there come Hoggo men. I see them. Him see trail. Come this way. I know it. Stand your ground, Tonto. Him think we steal. Him kill. If they start shooting, we'll have to make a run for it. I don't want to shoot back. I don't think they'll shoot unless we reach for our guns. Hoggo, plenty wild. Him lead, you see? He won't want us to die from a bullet. He'll want to capture us and torture us. So we'll suffer for stealing the totem pole. That's right. And that's when we'll have to talk to him and make it mighty impressive. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. A 
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, trapped between the advancing Hogaw tribe and the stream, stood their ground while the Indians raced toward them. Hogaw himself rode ahead, and when he had reined up in front of the masked man, accused him of stealing the totem pole. You prisoner! I'm nobody's prisoner. I'm here, Hogaw, to speak to you. You take totem pole for Oida. All gods of totem pole angry. You prisoner. You sacrifice to make gods happy. Our God take you. Then make Oita suffer. Oita does not want your totem pole. Look, see on the hill. Oita has his own totem pole. You steal. You prisoner. Come. Hogo, hear what I say. The spirit of your totem pole has words for you. There is a message. You must wait to hear it. Go. Go back where you came from. Wait there and hear the message of your spirit. Be guided by it. You steal. Go back. Wait. I'm not happy what you say. And you give him that message, Tato. Tell him to return and wait. Tell him that he doesn't know what I do about his tribal spirit. The spirit will bring a message to him at the next sunrise. Make him understand. What you say? Haka, Talo Sabende, Padumatula, Maluka, Dakane, Balu. Gogola Katana Baku. Chakula! Chakula! Werne Kome! Watana! At least you made Hogo talk it over with his braves. What did you tell him, Tyler? Me say, him not go back. Red fire from sky explode. Kill all Hogo people. You made it pretty strong. And Tonto to make it stronger. What are you getting from your saddlebag? He got signal from railroad. A red torch. Ah. No, fix it. Light it. Care, hog, gob, plenty. The very thing. Go on, light it. Show him the red fire. Now. Fene, come! Fene, come! Brother! Brother, come! Brother, come! Brother, come! Brother, come! Brother, come! Now what we do? Now, Kimasami, we're going to follow the trail of those men who brought that totem pole here. Get him up, Skull! Hail, Silver! Hooray! That night, the two renegade whites could hear the war drums of Oita's tribe from their camp. Hear that war dancing again, Kay? <laughs> There'll be plenty of fireworks in the morning. Give them critters a night to get roused up, and they'll be ready to raise Hob. Kay, huh? you hear a horse? I wasn't noticing. Did you? Yeah. You reckon Hoggo's men have trailed us here and want us... We're not Hoggo's men. What the... Put up hands. Redskins. Stand up, both of you. You're coming with us. We have a job for you. Hey, you're a white man, and master that. What's the idea of throwing a gun on us? We ain't redskins. I have a pretty good idea what you are. Now, come along. For what and where to? You'll be able to dig up the second totem pole much easier than the first. You've had some practice. Bring your spades along. You'll need them. Now, see here, stranger. This ain't no way sociable at all. This isn't a social visit, and we're wasting time. Hey, hey, I'm rude. Hey, let go of that rope. Back, Silver. Stop. I'm pulling up the chair. Let, let us loose. He gets paid. You can walk along ahead of us or be dragged behind us. It's up to you. Come on, boy. Let up. Let up, stranger. I, I can't run like this. Look out, Steve. Hey, you're walking on my feet. We'll go ahead. Stop, stranger. We'll do what you say. Get going, then. Now, now look. What's your idea, anyhow? You've been meddling with the Chinooks. Now we'll meddle. All we want is to save the fishing for the white folks. Them Chinooks will take all the fishing if we don't. If you're going to stand and argue, I'll drag no, you. No, 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 we're walking. We're walking. Where to? To the ford. Then across the stream and up the hill to Oida's totem pole. Keep going till you get there. If you slow down, we'll drag you. Start in. Oh, I'm from out of strength. I can't stand no more. That'll be too bad, because you'll have a hard time digging up that pole unless you stand. Start digging. When when we got it loose, then what? You'll find out. Now dig. I'm all in it. Dig. Now 
Get it on your shoulders and start walking. Oh, my sakes, I can't. I'm wore out. You carry that other one. Now carry this one. Stranger, I can't. But you're going to. It's downhill to the water. Now start. If I have to haul that totem pole with my horse, I'll lash you both to it. Lift it. But I can't. You lift. Look out that knife. Come on, Kay. We, we ain't no choice. Early the next morning, Oita led his men in a prayer for victory. Then, leaping to the backs of their ponies, they headed for Hogaw's village. But the Lone Ranger and Tonto had reached the village before them. Hogaw felt that he had been tricked. And at the sight of the masked man, he shouted, Do not tell truth! Put them pull not here at sunrise. Put them spirit have no message. The spirit has the message for you. You'll have to follow me to hear it. Bring all your braves, Hogo. You prisoner. Tell him in his own words, Tato. Hogo, Taluta Benge, Pardu Matula. Now tell him to follow us. Baku. Niguma. Baku, Hogo. Baku. Gula, Paneku. Baku. Hato. Tell him what's going. Hail, silver, hooray. Leading the tribe and their chief, the Lone Ranger headed for the stream, then followed it until he reached the shallow water where the great horse Silver plunged in. The Indians, close behind, splashed through the water toward the opposite shore. There, a strange sight met their eyes. Two totem poles were firmly planted on the bank. Oitas, close beside Hogor. Stand, Hogor! Stand here until Oita comes. Oita, come now. You see. No sooner had Oita's men flashed into sight than their chief ordered them to stop. Both leaders stared at the totem poles. Tonto, get close to Hogo. Interpret what I say for him. Uh-huh. Hurry. I've got to speak before these Indians start shooting. Oh, come, Scott. Come, fellow. Oita, you want war because your son is murdered. His murderers will be dealt with by the white man's law. Hogo had no part in the murder. You enemy? I'm no enemy, Oita. I'm friend. Friend of you and friend of Hogo. Hear me, all of you. Look at your spirits. See what has happened. The spirits were unhappy. They moved together near the water. Oita, come with me. Hogo, come. We shall go closer to the totem pole. Tonto repeated what the Lone Ranger had said in the Chinook tongue. Then the two chiefs rode close to the totem poles. They saw two white men lying on the ground in front of them, and... Don't you understand what the spirits mean to tell you? This, Hargo, is the message I told you about. There, Rowita, are the men who killed your son. You see their feet? They wear Indian shoes to leave a trail that would deceive you. One of them has an Indian hatchet. The spirits have given you the murderers. They've moved together to tell you they want you and Hargor to live together in peace as long as the two spirits stand. Does Hargor understand, Hunter? Uh, Hunter, tell him. I think it'll work, Himasabi. I think our plan will work. Hargor, go close to Oita now. I'm going to discuss it. Spirits want two people live as one in peace and happiness, Oita. This is spirit tell us that we not war. You not want war, Hargo. My people not want war. White men bad. Make Oita think you kill son. We not kill. Then we live in peace. We live as spirits say together. I go tell my people. Did they agree, Santa? Uh-huh. I'll go, I'll go now. Tell tribe. What of them white men? Those white men, Oita, were bad. They'll be punished by the white man's laws. We'll take them away from here with us. You punish? Yes. We not fight Oita's men. We want peace. 
All those people want peace. That good. Now we live in peace. No war. While totem poles stand side by side, Oita and Hogard never fight. Then go and tell your people they can return to fishing. I go. Take one of those white men, Tata. No. Take him on your horse. He can't walk anymore. I'll take the other. The Indians are at peace. Now to take care of these crooks. No. No, we're ready. We're right with you. They, they won't kill us? You did well. You'd said a word or made a move. I think I'd have turned you over to those Indians to be punished in their way. Instead, you're going to be tried before a white man's court. Oh, now look, mister. We work like slaves the whole of the night. We're all done in. Get on my horse. But look here. <laughs> oh, I can hardly move. You killed an Indian and very nearly started a war. Aside from everything else, you two have a murder to account for. You gave me your confession. I know, but we worked. The we... work was for your plan to start trouble. You paid your debt for stealing Hogor's totem pole. But you still have another debt to pay. We're going to town, and you can argue with the law. Steve, don't give that critter no argument. After working for him, a jail with a place to sleep will sure seem good. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.